I've been kind of worrying whether to talk about this for a while, but let's face it, I've had it up to my back teeth, and now it's time to vent. And what set me off, you might ask? Well, I saw an article this week where somebody uh, was basically looking at the politics of Zelda and Ocarina of Time in particular and how it was, you know, about slavery and communism and all this sort of stuff. For fuck's sake, people. It's fucking Zelda. And it's not just this particular piece that I saw online that just made me wibble. It's the Anita Sarkeesians of this world. It's the, and I know this is going to sound funny coming from me, it's the serial complainers. Ten months ago, I would have been furious with people giving Beyond Two Souls good reviews. Because I've played Beyond Two Souls, I've been playing it this week. I feel, you know, it's like a bad sci-fi channel movie with limited interactivity. I can see that people will enjoy the acting. They will like the technology that in some places looks really quite cool and in others looks like early PS3 era gaming. But I can understand that people are going to like that. Just like they, they liked Heavy Rain and I didn't. I had a conversation with Jim Sterling at PAX and I've been sort of like leaning in this direction for a while anyway. And Jim and I were talking and we were, you know, discussing about, you know, People can find stuff, you know, good stuff in most things. And different people like different things. And the fact that we have different review scores and different opinions for a game like Beyond is great. Which leads me on to the Arnita Sarkeesians of this world and everybody else who decides to bitch and moan about Mario. And, oh, it's Mario and the princess is so helpless and he has to go rescue her and blah, 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 blah. Because, really, it's a fucking Mario game. Super Mario Brothers is a bad game because it just encourages the patriarchy and, you know, Mario has to rescue Princess Peach who got kidnapped and is damsel in distress. You know what? If you want to take that angle, how about this one? How about, you know, looking at it from the perspective that I did that Mario loves Princess Peach. She's a very, she's a, not a prize, but she is somebody who is so wonderful that Bowser and Koopa they want her. They, you know, they want to kidnap her away. And for love, Mario goes through all this. That's the way I've always looked at it. Not that she's useless and helpless, that she's overpowered because by big friggin' monsters and taken away. And Mario goes after her for love. The other angle, of course, is that Princess Peach is a fucking inept idiot who always gets herself into trouble, and Mario, being a nice guy, decides to rescue her time after time. Not enforcing the patriarchy in any way, but helping the dumb bugger out time and time again. That would be the uncharitable way of looking at it. That would be the way of looking for controversy and looking for criticism in a video game where there isn't really any need for one. I'm going to throw out an interesting concept to you people. If a game isn't attractive to you, don't fucking play it. Here's the deal. Go and find something that you like. Go and celebrate that. Go out and find a game that is great. Or, if you have run a Kickstarter, put your money where your mouth is. Go and make the frigging games. Let's face it, there's enough people out there. There's enough talented female game designers, game writers, coders, artists. Get them all together. Spread the love. Take some of that money, give it to them and say, let's create a game. And let's put it out there so that people can play it, people can buy it, people can enjoy it. It's catering to the people who want to see this stuff. I mean, come on, people, let's get a bit of perspective. We're getting so up our own asses searching for sexism, misogyny, transphobia, whatever you want to call it in every fucking game now. We're losing sight of the fact we're talking about games. Let's appreciate what we've got. And if it's not your cup of tea, away. My point being, this vocal minority are almost like the Tea Party of video games. They want to hold the rest of the industry to ransom for what they perceive as their own slights. And unfortunately, bitching and moaning every single time a game comes out that doesn't have a one-legged female transgender short person from Wales as the main character just dilutes the main issue. Do we need more diversity? Yes. Do we need more female characters? Yes. Do we need maybe transgender characters? Do we need gay and lesbian characters? Yes. This isn't the way to go about it, folks. Bitching and moaning about all these games over and over and over. 
just makes you look stupid, just riles people up, and just invites people to troll you. Just saying. Abuse me on Twitter. I'll be back next week.